What's good YouTube? Scuzz1905 here. Welcome back to another Pokemon Go video. It's been a while, but we finally have some Pokemon Gen 3 news. So this is the new game screen, and it's going to be for the Halloween events. So we're going to talk about this today. If you're hyped for this and enjoying this kind of content, and looking forward to Gen 3 on Pokemon Go, please do a like on this video and subscribe if you are new. So, yeah, so obviously it's the Halloween event, so they're going to just drop all of the ghost Pokemon that were relevant in Generation 3. So it looks absolutely beautiful, there's a Caterpie down there. Uh, first thing to add, you're going to get a Mimikyu hat. Now if there are a few people that are watching this that just play Pokemon Go as the po as Pokemon Go kind of progresses, Mimikyu is a ghost Pokemon from the 7th generation from the new Sun and Moon titles, but I'm pretty sure everyone watching this video would know this. Um, so then you've got Starting from the right here, you've got Sableye, you've got Duskull, you've got Banet, you've got Gengar, you've got Shuppet, Zubats, Dusker, Dusclops, and Murkrow. So obviously the new Pokemon for Gen 3 there are Dusclops and Duskull, the evolution chain there, Shuppet and Banet, and then the non-evolution, Sableye. So because of all the white background, I've put these Pokemon on my screen, obviously here. The one Pokemon they didn't really address is Shedinja, which is kind of weird because things they have put into this um, is they were said in the data mine that if we're going to get like special Halloween music, we're going to be getting, uh, and the only thing that's stopping them rolling out Gen 3 as a whole is new moves and abilities. Now it's been something I've been saying for a very long time and I know other YouTubers have said it as well. That if you have, are a fan of Generation 3, you'll know that this brought in poker abilities. So certain Pokemon, just every, every Pokemon had an ability. So like Banet has Frisk, it can then like Frisk held items. Uh, Sableye had an ability called Stall, which means it only move last. A few other little bits for so, so many abilities. But Pokemon like Shedinja here... Uh, only has one HP and it's the one ghost Pokemon that didn't actually like show in the uh, artwork which I think is kind of weird but you get this one by evolving a Pokemon called Ninkada into Ninjask having a spare slot on your party how it's going to work Pokemon Go I don't know it's probably just going to do it when you get an, a Ninjask you get Shedinja Shedinja is a bug ghost Pokemon with one HP with the ability Wonder Guard so what Wonder Guard does is it can only be hit by super effective moves. Which I think make, makes things really, you know, it made things really interesting. There's been several games back in like Generation 4 when I played Pokemon competitively, like for the most time, where Shedinja would just win games because people didn't prepare for it. You had it just six Pokemon in your party and then you just dropped it and they couldn't do anything about it. Which I think is brilliant. So a quick scroll through this article, pretty much covered everything that's in the article. So, lead Pokemon for Gen 3 creatures part of the upcoming Halloween event live within the next fortnight. Pictures, uh, this is brilliant though. Pictures in the art arranged, so the spooky Gen 3 Pokemon, Dust Skull, Dust Noir. Now, <laughs> right now, <laughs> right now you're a gamer. That is not Dust, Dust Noir is a generation four pokemon so we're going to be, i reckon we'll be getting that like this time next year or maybe middle of next year because there's two gens are coming quite quickly dust noir is the evolution of dusclops so that meant to say dusclops there and you got shop it sableye and burn it the images found in the game's file are following the update over the weekend data to now for generation three trickling during the next to the last few months However, it's kind of like, I think it says, I've got the wrong button. It says down here, it's kind of like the last year generation two, kind of like dribs and drabs. They just did the baby events and then they launched everything else. Um, Pokemon are also missing several species of gen two, like the legendary ho and the paint, the Smeargle, Christopher Pokemon, Delibird, which, ooh, they are gonna be released hopefully in December. So. I hope that mean. I hope that doesn't mean that you get. Um, I hope that means Mewtwo doesn't disappear because that's actually like something I could do a separate video on that. How I disagree with how the Mewtwo rate or the legendary e EX raids work because I think they're just not fair for people that don't play that often. Uh, so the Pokemon Generation was well, debuted in Pokemon. <coughs> Pokemon the third generation. <coughs> 
of Monsters debuted in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire for the Game Boy Advance. Notable monsters included the stars Trico, Torchic, Mudkip, with weather changes cast form legendaries such as Latias and Latios. So, Gen 3 brings a lot of legendaries. Uh, so, Gen 3 brings Kyogre, Groudon, Rayquaza, Registeel, Regirock, Regiice, I said those wrong, I'm sorry, Latias, Latios, Deoxys, and Jirachi. That's ten. Ten legendaries coming from one generation. Because the legendaries should go a bit they go a bit ridiculous as the games go on. Um other another Pokemon, there's a few Pokemon that just rely purely on abilities. One is Shedinja that I mentioned, one is Slacking, and one is Cast Form. So I think I'm gonna do a separate video like talking more about that. Uh, so the player the player's character is shown wearing the hat based around the Gen 7 crit and Mimikyu. Uh, so that's going to be, that's a beautiful looking hat. I love Mimikyu. Uh, so that is really all the information we have. But it is a start. Uh, we're going to be getting the event in the next couple of weeks. And I need to catch up with all my other Pokemon Go videos. So I'm just like set and ready to go for the Halloween event and catch all these ghost Pokemon and get as many candies as I can. I'm assuming it's going to be double candy for ghost types. So I'll be out catching all the uh, ghost new ghost Pokemon as I can. I love Sableye. Sableye's one of my favourites. Gen 3 was brilliant. I think Gen 2 is still my favourite, but there's so many Pokemon in Gen 3. Well, my mascot comes from Gen 3 Manetric, so that's going to be something... Uh, that's going to be something right there. So let me know in the comment section below. Are you looking forward to this? Are you still playing Pokemon Go? Will this bring you back to Pokemon Go? And what Gen 3 Pokemon are you most looking forward to as well? So thank you very much for watching, guys. Please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new. Ring that bell to be part of the notification squad. Follow me on my social media. And if you can support me on Patreon, you'll be the best person ever. Take care, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.